Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. That is basically, that is actually the title of this, of this movie. That is literally the title of this movie. Sharknado. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Honestly, this one, once again, is directed by Anthony Sinferati. So once again, stars Ian Zeri, Tara Reid, Cassie Skirbo, Mark McGrath, and they're joined by Jack Griffo from The Thundermans, Bo Derek, Ryan Newman, David Hasselhoff, and <laughs> oh my goodness. The plot of this movie, once again, we follow Finn and is in Washington, D.C., and he receives a Presidential Medal of Freedom for the President. And basically what happens there, another, another Sharknado strikes, de devastating the nation's capital. So Finn and the President work together to defeat the Sharks, but unexpectedly combines. So, Finn heads to Florida, and fearing that April and his daughter and her mother will be in danger, so he finds some new people to help him, and basically we have our movie. This one is so bad. This is, without a doubt, the weakest one in the series. The weakest one in the series. It is on the level of Guilty Pleasure bad, but it is still... A heavily flawed movie. My goodness. First, let me get my pauses out of the way. I do love the acting here. I do like the shark action when it does come. The shark tornadoes, they do look pretty cool for the most part. And... And also, I kind of feel like... The, there are some moments where I felt like the movie was actually kind of cool. And there were some entertaining moments here. Now, this is kind of an overlong mess. It's kind of an overlong mess and it definitely shows here. It definitely shows here. Now, the film is only a 90 minutes, and there is one or two scenes where this movie gets boring. Which is problem number one. Because the Sharknado movie is not supposed to be boring. You're supposed to be like, having fun with them. And I was having fun with them. Then, you have some unnecessary cameos in here. Some of the cameos are cool, but some of them were not cool. It's too many cameos for me to name off and supporting cast, but but honestly, I feel like some some of the stuff they decided to go along with, and it was weird, and it was crazy. <laughs> so. <laughs> Honestly, I just like, wow. Then the ending of the movie is kind of, is weird. I don't know how to put it. And some of that is just, wow. It's like, pff, is this movie even trying to be funny or are you just trying to be serious? Because this is the problem that does recur in the fourth movie. It's not supposed to be serious. You can't take a Sharknado movie seriously. You can't. This is supposed to be dumb, silly fun. And... Unfortunately, this movie does fall into the category of being the weakest one. 
it's still a fine guilty pleasure movie. But at the end of the day, this is still is still a very disappointing. It's still one of the worst. This is easily the worst one. It is the worst one. I'm going to give this a skip it, but I will give this movie a middle badly here. Simply because there were some parts I did enjoy. And the movie is lucky I'm giving it that. Mm-hmm. Let me know what you guys think about Sharknado 3. Oh hell no down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I will see you guys when I do Sharknado 4 next month. Keep it cool.